So here's the Moses basket. And now I do have the pink cover on there. Um, it doesn't come with any sort of cover for the mattress. Uh, so you definitely want to get something. And you can kind of see it's very large. I don't think that it's very portable in my opinion. Um, I mean, I knew that it would fit the snuggle me, so it was going to have to be pretty large, but I'm only five foot one, and I don't personally see how I will be able to carry this around the house, but we'll see. So, here's a little bit of a close up of like the material on the inside. And now you can see here, this is the piece that's sticking out, and it's pretty sharp. And there's multiple pieces all around it that are like that. You can see there's one over there too. And now the handles are kind of finicky, like they don't want to cooperate very well. So you kind of have to mess with them. And there's a bunch of pieces sticking out around the outside of it. Um, but that's not as much of a concern as the pieces that are sticking out right where your baby's head or feet would go. That's kind of disappointing. Um, but the mattress is very, very plush, which is nice. I don't even think that you would necessarily need to have the snuggle meat in there um, if it didn't have the pieces poking out. But because mine does have the pieces poking out, I will probably make sure that when I use this, I use it with the snuggle me because it'll kind of lift baby up a little bit higher and hopefully shield the baby from that. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with the snuggle me in it. Here it is with the snuggle me in it. Now it's it's pretty high. Um, definitely not going to want to use this for a bigger baby that could potentially um, roll out because there's really not that much of a height difference between the edges. But I definitely like the Snuggle Me. I mean, it fits perfectly in there. Um, obviously, it was designed for it, so I would hope it would fit perfectly. But I don't feel like the Dakotot will fit as perfectly as this. I think that it would kind of smush down the sides a little bit, kind of making it not necessarily the safest option. Um, so now I'm going to kind of talk about the Snuggle Me itself. Now, I... My first impressions with it were that it is so much softer than the Dakotot. Um, but something to note is that it doesn't come with a cover when you buy it online. Um, unless you buy one that comes with a cover. Mine was the natural, so it didn't come with any sort of cover. I had to buy a cover. Luckily, I had realized that while making the purchase, so I was able to buy a cover for it. Um, I definitely would not use it without the cover uh, because there's not really a way to clean it I don't think without the cover the cover makes it a lot easier to just toss the cover in the wash and go on with your day um, but the snuggle me is definitely more plush and I would say obviously I'm, I'm not a baby but from my personal touch and everything I feel like it is way more comfortable than the Dakotot the Dakotot is very firm um, and not plush and it's also doesn't really cocoon the baby as much as the snuggle me does um but i think the dakotot is more uh like a cocoon when they're a little bit older so that's something to consider i don't feel like this will last as long as the dakotot um with my daughter i was able to use the dakotot infant size up until about four months this i would probably say if this baby is about the same size as my daughter was, I would expect to probably get two or three months out of it before it's outgrown. Um, so yeah, that kind of talks about my likes and dislikes of it. Um, the fact that it doesn't come with a cover is probably my only dislike of the actual Snuggle Me. Um, I feel like they need to make that a little bit more clearly noted on their website because I'm sure people don't realize it until they get it. Um, and then you have to pay that shipping cost again, which is a bummer. So definitely be sure to get a cover for it if you get a Snuggle Me off of their website. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up my review. I just wanted to do a quick overview about my experience with Snuggle Me. Um, and 
a video showing the Moses basket because I was not able to find any videos before I made my purchase. Um, and yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and drop a comment. Um, if you have any ideas on how I can trim the loose threads, um, definitely let me know because I'm not really sure how to fix that and make this as safe as possible for my baby. I mean, as you can see, this one is literally right, right there by the, where the baby's arm would possibly hit or feet potentially. It's, it's right at the perfect height. The other one's kind of down lower. Um, so you can't really see it when the snuggle me's on there. Um, so yeah, I uh, definitely don't think I would recommend the Moses basket for the price. I feel like it's a little overpriced. I think that for um, high quality Moses baskets, I think you can find better quality ones uh, for a lot less. Like Design Duo or Dua was one I had considered and they're a little bit cheaper. And from what I've heard review wise, they seem to be a really good brand quality wise. So I would definitely check that out too if you're looking for something like this. But yeah, that wraps up this video, guys. Have a good evening. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, be sure to hit the subscribe button and drop a like and a comment if you enjoy this video. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Snuggle Me Organics Moses Basket along with the Snuggle Me uh, Pillow Lounger in the infant size. Now, I do have experience with the Dockatot brand, so I wanted to buy this to compare because I've heard that this one is a little bit softer and more cozier for little ones um, than the Dakotat. And because I have experience with the Dakotat, I'll be able to share, you know, the big likes and dislikes between the two and the differences, in my opinion, and whether or not I would recommend the Snuggle Me. So first I'm going to talk about the Moses basket and my experience with Snuggle Me. Now, I did not have the greatest experience with Snuggle Me. I actually received this today, um, and upon taking it out of the box, I noticed multiple flaws on the Moses basket, which was really disappointing because it's about $300 um, plus shipping on their website. So it's a very expensive Moses basket in comparison to other companies that are out there. Um, and I kind of expected there to be, you know, little pieces but I didn't expect for them to be on the inside of the basket that could potentially poke my baby. Um, and they're very sharp. I ran my finger across it and it definitely could cut very sensitive baby skin. Um, and I had reached out to them today and I received terrible customer service. I was appalled and honestly, I won't recommend this company because of my experience with them. Um, it was just so terrible. <coughs> So, um, I had reached out to them, I had sent them photos of the flaws, and they told me that this item is uh, final sale, even though I, I didn't see that on the website, but it must be on there, um, and that it's normal for there to be imperfections, um, and that they wanted to see more photos, so I sent them those, and I had said, I didn't get a discount on this item. Um, I know you can buy their Moses basket as a part of their Imperfects sales that they have every Thursday, um, but I did not get mine that way. And I was very disappointed that I paid full price for an item that could potentially hurt my baby. Um, so I was, I was very let down and their response back was that I could pay to ship it back and I would not get a refund on the shipping. Um, but I would get a full refund on the Moses basket or I could get a 10% discount, which was $26 um, after taxes and everything like that. And needless to say, I was very <laughs> taken back by the fact that they expected me to pay return shipping on an item that was very clearly damaged and not safe for a newborn. Um, I had looked into shipping and it was going to be about $40. Um, so taking that into consideration, I told them that I would do the 10% off um, and hopefully I can just trim it or find a way to weave it back into the basket. 
um, but I kind of played with it and I didn't really see how to do that. So if you have any suggestions on how to fix that, definitely drop them in the comments below. Um, so there was my experience with them. I was honestly kind of appalled at how terrible their customer service was. Uh, usually when you have a defective item, you don't expect the customer to be the one to take the loss. You usually take the loss. Um, but other than that, I like the product. Um, I'm going to show you the Moses basket first, and then I'll talk about the Snuggle Me.